Hi guys, Rob here, and today I'm going to check out a couple of popular restaurants here in Mac Tan Cebu. These are the shoot to kill restaurants, a popular method of cooking here in the Philippines. With the second restaurant, I had the most expensive meal I've ever had in the Philippines, and I'm going to show you the prices on that. So let's check it out. The shoot to kill restaurant, I just want to show you what's available here and how it's working during this MGCQ. Shoot to kill stands yes, for? Subba grill. Means grill. Yeah. Uh, tula soup. Tula soup. Yeah. And, and raw kinilo, kilo. Raw kilo. Is that where you're cooking um, in the vinegar or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. vinegar. So that's cooking vinegar. fish raw, like in the vinegar. The vinegar cooks the fish. But you also cook other methods, like for more for the tourists. Yeah, yeah. Before they had a lot more selection of fish, obviously, with a lower amount of customers at the moment, the supply is a bit down. So they still have choices of prawns and squid and these type of fish what's this colorful fish what's this colorful fish yeah what's that parrot fish okay so as far as prices like how much is a prawns here per kilo per kilo yeah pillar 680 680 per kilo yeah free cooking free cooking calamares and adobo with atta or sizzling and how much is that per kilo? Same, same. 680 per kilo. So, so how can you have it again? You cook it in calamares. Calamares or you can Adobo with uh, ata. Adobo or the, the, the ink one. Or the ink. Or oh, the black scallops. ink. Yeah, yeah. Try scallops. And scallops baked scallops you make? Baked with butter. And how much is that? 380. 380. 380 per, one kilo. One kilo. For baked scallops. And that's obviously seaweed. How, how, Seaweeds. How do you cook? How do you cook the seaweed? Uh, salad. You make it as a salad. Salad. And how much is that? One hundred. One order. So yeah. other than the, the shoot to kill cooking methods, what other methods? What other choices do I have to have it cooked? Garlic butter. Yeah, prawn, garlic. Uh, also the crab. But you can have fried with garlic butter. Okay. And what other? Steamed with chili sauce. Prawn. Or yeah, steam with steamed with chili. Okay, so there's many choices you can have, not just shoot to kill only. Uh, 7 a.m. to, it depends upon the customer, 7 to 9. I'm going to order something now. So I'll order the baked scallops with butter. Yeah, baked with butter. Female. Okay. What's the difference of female? As uh, we have egg. Oh, you can eat the eggs yeah, as well. Yeah. And what's the most popular method for cooking that? Or what's the most. Steam with chili sauce, special tea. Steam with chili sauce. Okay. So, what's the title of all that come to? Pillar for the total. Oh, yeah, or. So, the total is 1,100 for all that. Okay, so you can sit by the ocean here and actually it's low tide if you can see. Not the most beautiful <laughs> scenery during low tide. This is the view. So, this is the seaweed with yeah, yeah, yeah. vinegar. Yeah, vinegar. That's and guso. Guso. Gu. Guso. Yeah, guso. So, it's in vinegar and some onions and chili in there. And this is the adobo, what's it called, adobo? With atta, squid. Ado adobo squid with atta? Yeah, adobo with atta. So this is the adobo with atta. I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, it's adobo with atta. So visually it doesn't look the most appetizing, but let's see how it tastes. These are the baked scallops which seem to be really popular here. And this is a chili crab. I ordered three dishes in all. So it's time to taste these beauties. I didn't eat anything in the shoot to kill cooking method though. The baked scallops is one of my favorites. You see these? I'm intrigued about this um, adobo squid with the black ink. I'm interested to try that one. And this, is a chili crab which always tastes good. I'm just gonna eat with my fingers. Mm. I love these, they're delicious. Oh. These are magnificent. Mm. Oh, so good. So, this is the seaweed, it's got a bit of chili in here, onion, tomato, and it's, the sauce is the vinegar. Chili gives it a bit of, a bit of that kick. 
I like it. So let's try this squid. Mmm, very good. Look how black it is. The crab, I hate eating the crabs. chili crab sauce was a little weak, not quite as spicy as I like it. So this particular restaurant was called So this is the second restaurant I tried. This part of the video was taken before the quarantine and thus they had a bigger selection of seafood. One kilo? One five. One five. Lobster. Lobster. Two five. Two eight. One kilo. What, what, then you have a cooking charge 180. 90, 180. 180, just yeah. a set rate. If I have crayfish and yeah. fish, it's 180 plus 180. Yeah. Oh, okay. So 29. 29, 50, 50 pesos. Because this one lobster separate owner. 29504 yeah. all of that. Butter, butter, garlic. Butter, garlic. Baked. 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 And then this one, chili. Chili, chili. chili okay. So 3090 with drink and rice. Yeah, yeah, include. Okay. It's going to cost me 3,090 peso for this meal, which is pretty over the top, but let's see how it goes. So this is how the dining is set up in these restaurants. These are the dishes I ordered, including the lobster, which seemed to be made of gold or something with the price. So this goes down, it's hands down my most expensive meal here in the Philippines. So this lobster was 2.8. It's like it's came in from Japan or something. And then they charge 190 fee to cook it. And that fee is each individual dish is 190. So for the scallops, I think it's 90. You can't go wrong with them. Lobster though, I'm gonna try and eat every skerrick. It's just too too expensive. Seafood tastes good. Lobster. It's buttered garlic lobster. Mm, tastes good. These restaurants are a bit touristy as they're right behind one of the most popular tourist spots in Mactan. And thus prices are inflated. Although the seafood is good. Anyhow I've shown the prices so you can make the call on that. As preference, I preferred the first restaurant more. The staff were just a lot more friendly here. Being in a modified quarantine, at the time I made this video, not all the restaurants were open, so keep that in mind. If you want to learn more on places to stay in Cebu and things to do, check out one of the videos on screen now. Keep safe out there and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.